Hi, I'm Joanna Conroy, and I am happy to share my story with the ATS Patient Voices 12th edition. I have always tried to live a semi-normal life despite having cystic fibrosis. I was diagnosed with it as a child. In 1976, when I was born, my parents had never heard of the condition yet, especially when my younger sister, Noelle, was born a year later. She was diagnosed with CF first. As she had health issues that required frequent hospital visits, after she was diagnosed, it was clear that the asthma and food allergies my parents thought I had were symptoms of CF. I felt very isolated from my peers growing up. It was difficult to fit in when most of the kids had never heard of CF. I distinctly remember always trying to explain my coughing to others and feeling embarrassed by it. The saving grace that was that my sister was going through it as well. So we had each other. We also have two other siblings who don't have CF. So Noelle and I never felt truly alone. We would share a room when we were in the hospital together for what our family would call tune-ups. At certain times, it was even fun because we would get to meet other kids who shared the same condition. And it became a bonding experience for all of us. When we got older, we entered our teen years, a challenging time for anyone let alone when you have CF. Classmates would get annoyed with my coughing. Kids would laugh or tease me in their ignorance. It took a huge toll on me emotionally and impacted far more than just my health. It was hard for my family too, as my older brother and sister who don't have CF felt like my parents were granting my sister and me special treatment it was difficult for my parents to be protective of us without seem, seeming to show favoritism. Sadly, when Noelle was just 18 years old, she passed away from CF. She was waiting for a lung transplant that never came in time. That was a very dark time in our family. We were all devastated. And I just think I lost the one person who truly understood what I was going through. Since her passing, I have tried to live my life as she would have, doing things I love and not letting this disease prevent me from living my life to the fullest. It has not always been easy though. In my 30s, I really struggled with balancing daily demands of work, with being a mother and a wife and a good CF patient. I recall once being asked to leave a spin class because I was coughing too much. Those old feelings of shame and embarrassment from my youth came rushing back. I was so embarrassed and mad that I started to cry. My husband told me I should have explained my problem to the instructor, but there are times in my life where I just don't have the fight in me. My family and friends have been immense support for me throughout the years. I have a good group of friends with CF and we stay in touch by phone and text message. I also have a good friend who lives close who also has CF, as does her sister. Just having that listening ear who understands the challenges you are facing can go a long way to providing support you need with health issues. Recently, things have gotten better for me physically and therefore mentally. In November of 2019, I started a new medication that means I no longer need IV antibiotic therapy, and my lung function has gone from 58% to 75%. This has given me a new lease on life. For these days, I barely cough. I still produce some phlegm, but not as much as before, which has enabled my, me to finally live a normal life. The impact that this has had on my emotional state can't be overstated. For the first time in my life, I look to the future with anticipation. Retirement is something I never would have dreamed of before. Now it's something I am actively planning for and looking forward to enjoying. Thank you.